Hello my friends, this is Michael again with the Wupnik channel. One of my subscribers has asked me what is that thing here on your desk? Yeah, he always sees this black thing on, on my desk and he would like to know what it is. This here is a charger. Ah, come on, here it is. As you can see, this is a charger for triple A's, double A's, C and D batteries. And while we are at it, why don't I do a review about this charger? Hmm? What do you think? Yes? No? No? Yes? I assume this was a yes. So this charger here is the uh, uh, Maha or Meha MH-C808M. Why do I have such a charger? Because I have lots of rechargeable batteries. Double A rechargeables, triple A rechargeables and, and C rechargeables and D battery rechargeables. They are just cheaper. They are, yeah, they are cheaper. They are more, co more convenient. You don't have to go out all the time and buy the stuff. Here it is much cheaper just to recharge those batteries. I'm using so many uh, AA and AAA batteries because of my video gear. All the electronic gimmicks you have today, they are all now battery operated. Nothing you can do about it. And so I replace all the batteries with rechargeable batteries for my wallet and of course also for the environment. When somebody like me has a lot of uh, rechargeable batteries, you have to have a uh, battery charger which is reliable. Because I have here right now seven batteries in here. This machine dies and guess what? Yeah, I'm out of seven batteries. When you buy a charger, you have to have a balance between speed of charge and all the other little gimmicks you need in order to keep the batteries fresh and young. What a lot of people don't realize is yeah, that those cheap chargers, they cost maybe just $10, $10, $15, they are just bad, bad technology. This year was a little bit more expensive, $100, but it has a reason why it was $100. The reason those uh, cheap uh, chargers are so cheap, you see here, batteries, every battery is hanging or is sitting in its own little nest nesting i don't know how to say that in english i apologize so and uh, all these batteries here in the maha charger have a direct charge connection to the chip inside so that every battery in here gets charged and conditioned and all the other good stuff yeah separately just by itself so when for example this battery here is all charged and conditioned and full all the other batteries, they are still going on charging and conditioning and so on. Yeah, so then, then three are full and then the other two batteries, they are still charging and conditioning and get all full with, uh, with uh, electricity. So cheap uh, chargers don't do that. They have, for example, this one here has eight channels, eight charging channels. So cheap ones have only one charging channel, regardless if it is now a four bay uh, charger or an eight bay charger like this one here. As soon as one battery is full, the chip inside detects, wow, it's full, the battery is full. We don't need to charge anymore and shuts down the charging. And guess what? When the other battery batteries in here are not charged yet, they will also be shut down. So you have only the impression you are, all your batteries are full when this is not the case. So please don't go with one of those cheap ones. Another feature of one of these better uh, chargers, this is a better charger here, is that for, uh, for just for the health of those cells, yeah, once in a while you should really deep discharge those batteries and then recharge. It just uh, uh, keeps them healthy and those cheap chargers just don't do that. Furthermore, charging time is of course very important. As I said, I have here lots of these AA batteries. These are N-loop, high capacity batteries. And to charge these, it takes about two hours, two and a half hours, which is very good. Of course, I can also do a soft charge, which means it doesn't get such a strong charging uh, power. Uh, it can take about three to four hours just to keep those cells more healthy. 
Here you see now the LCD display on the charger. It tells you now that uh, seven batteries are all charged up. So I can just take them out. And that's it. So now I'm putting a battery into the charger. See what happens on the screen. Fighting here. All right, see, so LCD goes on. I'm pressing the soft charge button and you see, now it says soft charge, which means it's now softly uh, conditioning the uh, battery with, uh, with less energy to keep it healthy. And now you add more batteries. Yeah, and then this next uh, icon pops up and you have even more batteries. The next battery icon pops up and so on and so on. Great! Now all eight banks are full and each cell, as you can see here, is dealt individually. Every cell has its own chip so that it gets charged, conditioned and so on just by itself, individually. What else can I tell you about this charger? Well, as you can see here, this is a yeah, power brick for, for this charger. It's really a very nice brick so that each cell can be individually charged. You need a lot of power to do that. And it is just, just not such a primitive thing. Usually those cheap uh, chargers come with. And then we have here, I try to show you, here it is. Here is the power, the power plug. Look at this one here. This is not one of those cheapo uh, jacks. This is professional quality. And here's the other side. Can you see? Can you see? Yep, a little bit. So this is really a very good system, professionally made, and I really recommend it. As you can see, the whole charger is a little bit dusty and this is because I have this charger now for more than one year. This Maha MH-C808M is a great charger. Yeah, you can also charge uh, C cell batteries and D cell batteries. I really love that. Uh, the only drawback uh, is there is, for example, if you charge in one of those bays a triple A battery and then put on top a, a D cell battery in the same channel, this you cannot do. Every battery, every cell needs its own little nest here in order to uh, charge. But this is just a, a minor drawback. Most of the time I'm charging my batteries with half the power with slow charging in order to keep them healthier. You see some of these batteries here, uh, they may last you a year when you always power through those batteries. You charge them with the, with the highest electricity available, but this also wears them out sooner. Most of these batteries here are over a year old and they are still running like uh, they were brand new because most Mostly, 99% uh, of the time I'm charging these batteries just with slow charging, with soft charging. What does Wupnik say about this charger? Well, Wupnik says it's one of the most sophisticated chargers he has ever seen. Wupnik really thinks this is a charger to buy. You are in the market for a charger, buy this one in. Yeah, the Maha MH-C808M. It's a great charger, isn't it? Mm. This is the end of the video. I'm signing off. And please don't forget to like my video. It's a very likable video. Like my little Wupnik here and subscribe to my channel. Please, that's the only thing I'm asking for you, from you. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Well, I hope we will see each other in my next video, which will come very soon. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful night and a beautiful and gloryful uh, next week. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.